It's the best of the Jake Hasman Show. The elephant in the room here, Matt O'Leary. Bobby Midnight thought that you were going to be appearing on his program. Unfortunately, to this point, you have not. So he wants to put your butt on a stick. Your thoughts? That's a little. That's graphic. I, I I don't want that. I don't want that to be the case. Can I tell my side? The one time he asked me was like 15 minutes before he was going on. I went. I ate dinner. I didn't realize. I typed in Bobby Midnight. Didn't come up at your event. Someone told me that it was his. What his last name? Bobby Woodruff. Well, you know, I need to find Matt O'Leary. He's supposed to come on my show. I want his butt on a stick. You said after your dinner, you would come on my show. You never showed up. I forgive you. You're my friend. <laughs> I would have messed around with you anyway. You're taller than me. You beat the crap out of me. This is a very one-sided beef. I don't have okay, anything. Okay, I'm sorry, that. man. I apologize to you. So okay. there, there's no more butt on a stick. So we're No, good. you could cancel that. I was just watching an annoying video of some gringa complaining about a bunch of kayakers on a lagoon. She's yelling at them for being there, even though the law states that they can be there as much as they want. Thank you for that, V-Man. Right. One of our great callers, if you watch the show for a while, you've heard him call in. His name is Keith Best. He's a longtime Jet fan based in Florida. He's currently undergoing several chemotherapy treatments seemingly every day, and we decided that our next Asmaniac emoji will be this one right here that was designed by Snowball and submitted to me earlier today. So when we hit our next membership threshold, we will dedicate this for Keith as we continue to support him in his fight against cancer. So shout out to Keith. I know you're watching out there, bud, and just want you to know we're all thinking about you. Chef Kevin writes in, Steve, we're doing this together. I'm all about Keith getting an emoji. My wife currently dealing with cancer for the second time. I did not know that, man. I'm sorry to hear that. Thank you so much for your support. This emoji for Keith just represents, I think, everyone in this fan base that knows someone that's impacted by cancer. I'm so happy for Keith Best. This is wonderful for the guy. I'm crying. Oh, Bobby. And, and thank you, Kevin. You're great, T. I hope your wife is okay. And I care about you and your wife, and I care about Keith Best. And thank you, everybody else who did the gifting. And thank you for Snowball for coming up with that. It's just so sad. You know what? It, it is sad, but it shows you the power of this great community, Bobby. <laughs> Yeah, I know. I love everybody here. You know. And they love you, Bobby. I love them, too. Sarah love wrote, people. Bobby, Sarah's watching your favorite. Hi, Sarah. How you doing? <laughs> I'm crying. I'm sorry. It's okay, Bobby. It's sad. It's sad when people have to die from that stupid cancer. This is an all-time excuse making from Neil right now. <laughs> My little Duke is here. You've been yeah. live for two hours and 23 minutes? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, as soon as you dropped off. <laughs> you might get helpful decorating tips on the Bobby Woodruff show, O'Leary. You can even learn where to put your orange lawn chair to maximize its effectiveness. Does he have an orange lawn chair? Bobby. <laughs> <laughs> Give us the orange lawn chair, Bobby. Where is it? Oh, it's right here. There it is. When are you going to rid of that orange chair? The only thing better than all them shoes is Joey D, cause he totally rules. Jake, my brother, I'm high as a kite. I love everybody. Damn, this show is crazy. Bonesy. <laughs> Mr. Bonesy. Yo, I heard you calling my name <laughs> with the customer. <laughs> I'll be right back. Look what you just did for the people. You know, I heard you guys talking about cancer and everything. My aunt has cancer and stuff like that. I got I got love for everybody who's going through that. Just wanted to pay it forward. Chef Kevin gave me my membership today, so. We didn't expect to get 360 memberships. We needed 150, and now we have a great new emoji to, uh, to hopefully lift Keith's spirits up. And now... We'll always love you. <laughs> I will always. Gary, shut up. <laughs> I'm sorry. Love you. Ricky NY is up next. Ricky, what do you got for us? Um. Damn. It's the Ricky Wi Fi. Da -da -da. Da -da 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 -da. The rapper really Charles Gorman. Hi, Charles. Gary, Gary, did you, Gary, did you, you are a fucking idiot. Whoa, 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 Charles. What are you doing about it? Right the hard stuff. 
Oh See, my it's, crap, it's, it's Gary! Always, you know what, good for you, Charles. Good, good, Charles. good for you, bro. Good for you, bro. Good for you, Charles. That's good. That's good. Wow. Yeah. Hey, come on! Uh, like, who talks to me like that? Like, that's how you yeah, talk to another man. I was. I he would know never that. ever say that to my face ever. Like, that's yeah, how you that's talk true. to another man. Hell, Charles, I, I, I have true. no interest in what you have to say. Now. I, I I got busy. I gotta go get my quattro uh, threaded. Your what? It's a Puerto Rican tense. It's a Puerto Rican instrument. Well, Jake, man, said, I, I wish you the best of luck. A legend has called in for the first time since we dropped one of the great emojis in the history of all emojis. Ladies and gentlemen, joining us right now is the legend himself, Keith Best. What's up, Keith? <laughs> How you raised 420 memberships was spectacular. Uh, I'm so appreciative of all of that. It's great to be here. Thank you for calling on me. I really appreciate it. I love it, Keith. Stay strong, man. We love your passion. Love your energy. What a legend. Oh, you want to see somebody here today, too? Oh, is it Mikey? Yeah, Mikey. Yeah, has... yeah there he is. Oh, I've, I've never met Mikey before. Oh, my brother, Robbie. Hey, nice to meet you, Mikey. Hi, Mikey. Yeah, that's yes, he's like. getting married. Zach Wilson. He's yeah, engaged. No, yeah. that. Zach Wilson. What? Hot, I don't know. <laughs> yes. Way back. Did he just say she's hot? Yeah, the girlfriend's hot. Calm your freaky down. What's up, fellas? <laughs> Come on. What are you doing? You're in trouble now, Jake. Hi, Mr. Bones. <laughs> How are you feeling today? How's the little kids doing? I can't concentrate. Jake. Been a pimple on my ass all morning so far. <laughs> He's playing, playing extra fart so sounds, so we go. <laughs> oh, I can't wait to go on Bobby's show. <laughs> that was my show. I was in the green room before the show even started. Mm. You talk to Alan, but you can't talk to me. Oh, thank you. stop that freaking noise! Stop! Stop farting! Stop with that farts. I am proud to announce that a man who spent $300 gifting memberships, the great big fella emoji is now live. It's got big fella's glasses, his patented bed, and the TBS. Hey, what's happening, Jake? Uh, hopefully I'll have better luck this time. Knock out a lot because I think Bree is going to do so well. Uh, it's the Ricky Wi-Fi. Hello, V-Man. Sorry, I just dealt with someone so stupid they made me question my faith in humanity. Was it Gary? It is, it is, it is, it is, it is, it is, it is someone uh, about 10 million times worse. <laughs> All right, this was a guy who was defending genocidal communist dictators. Are we drinking, V-Man? I feel like we're, we're on an episode of Mad Men right now. There's no rules. Sure, you can get out your... Bobby, there's also another theory that the reason why you won't stand up is because you're not wearing pants right now. Is this true? No, I'm wearing pants. Who asked me that question? Oh, Jay. Oh, Jay's funny. <laughs> I am wearing pants. Gator says that you take the quote, I'll sleep when I'm dead, too seriously. I talked to you on this stream at the first tee. I played 18 holes, Ubered home, picked yeah. up food, and I you're still on. <laughs> yeah, yeah, we're almost at the five-hour mark. But you are an American treasure, sir. Hey, Zay. This community is so diverse. Like, you put together such, like, a crazy band of characters, bro. Like, you've done a crazy job. And I'm a random black guy from Raleigh, North Carolina. And I just stumbled upon the show, like, two years ago, man. And I've been hooked ever since. You guys, How did you become a Jet fan, Zay, if you're from Raleigh? My dad, he's from White Plains, New York. He's been a Jets fan, but yeah, been a long time fan. Honestly, since the Mark Sanchez, Rex Ryan days, honestly, that's when I was, I was like tapped in. That's when I first started remembering Jets games. So I got the glory of it yeah. when I was like eight years old, nine years old, all through my teen years. Just since then, it's just been a, a crazy drop off. So you can imagine my excitement to see Rodgers, all that. Going to go to a game and everything. Hope to see everyone out there. So 
it's definitely going to be a good time, man. Definitely looking forward to the season more so than anything. I love it. Zay, you're the man. See you soon, all right? Zay's got to call more. What a, what a great call. Bobby, when the sun goes down in a little while, I'm going with my 69-year-old girlfriend yeah. to take a walk on the beach in Palm Beach. I'm 60. She's 69. I love hanging out oh, with her. Oh, you like the older woman? You like the cool I don't like. The, I don't like. I don't like those ones in. Uh, Bobby, the, the, calm your freaky down. Bobby, you can't ask Keith if he likes cougars. Come on. I know, but she's nine years older than him. I'm only kidding, Keith. You know, when you sing New York, New York, I want yeah. you to go back and play the post 9 11 game at Shea Stadium when Liza Minnelli came out on the field to yeah. sing New York. I asked Jake to make a video to edgemo you in with your face. With yeah. Liza kicking her legs up with the police officers holding her by her arms. If I can make it there, I'll make it anywhere. It's up to you, New York, New York. Yeah, I'll do that. Purple Belt Mike on Long Island. Hello. So look, this is what I got. I got some pulled pork here, veggies, the beans. My wife is here putting the sour cream on here, and I'm going to throw it Oh, out. yeah. A little some taco tacos, Tuesday? baby. Let's go. That's what's up. All right, let's go Jets, baby. How long has uh, my bitter enemy, Rob the Jet fan, been watching your show? I don't know. Why don't we ask him? Rob, how long have you been watching the show? Three years. <laughs> By the way, how many memberships have you donated, Rob the Jet fan? Are you going to membership shame the guy? Come on, Al. Not everyone can afford it. Of course it is. Come on. He talks about how much money he has and how rich his life is. Uh, uh, how many original jerseys do you really own? This is so ridiculous. Jake, how many memberships has he donated? I don't know. I don't keep track, Alan. Yes, you do. Bullshit. I don't I don't keep track of who's donated Jake. memberships. What do you think? Jake. I have like a spreadsheet? I'm like, here we go. I know the big donors. I will say you have donated before. If that's what if you're looking for some praise. I don't need praise for myself. I said last time, remember I spoke to you, I said about the alligator arms? That's the king alligator right over there. You get dominated by your wife. I'm a wussy. That's correct. When you start donating memberships, then you can open your mouth. Have a great fourth, boys. Thank you very much. When you do the chant, don't do it like you're having brain damage. Rob, thank you very much. I thought we were done with the beef on the show. V-Man, say the following quote. I find your lack of faith disturbing. I find your lack of faith. Disturbing. Excellent job today, V-Man. One of your better calls. You recovered nicely. Okay. Hi, Sarah. Hey, how are you? Very nice to see Sarah. She's from Australia, the golden blonde beauty. Can't live without her. That girl makes me freaky. Sarah the angel is everyone's sweetie. If she dumps her husband, I'll be her next beefy. Sarah. <laughs> That's never gonna get old. What? <laughs> How many times is that now, Bobby? Craig, well, you, you. I play for you. From the hospital room where his ninth child is about to be born is none other than Johnny Boy. Hello, Johnny. Baby watch hour over twenty plus hours already, dude. Oh my god. Did you sleep at all last oh. night? Bro, no, dude. I can't calm my freaky down when I'm talking about the three leg mitt bandit. You know Joe Douglas, man. He be slanging that thing. Gator in the daylight joins us now. Hello, Gator. Alan and Gary just make me uh, want to explode a bit. You guys have to understand, nobody disagrees with you. If this team does not perform in the fall, everybody goes, right? Nobody disagrees with that. You need to accept the fact right now, today, Joe Douglas, Robert Sala, they're here. They're not going anywhere. They're here. So shut up. Stop <laughs> talking about it. The season's going to start, and we're either going to win or we're not. And at the end of that, we're likely going to throw them out if we don't make the playoffs. There's no conversation to have, so stop it. Let's talk about circus elephants, Puerto Rico, and strippers. Ladies and gentlemen, Gator McCluskey, Gator Daylight. Gator's 100% right. That call better be featured in Best of the Jake Asman Show, Episode 4. Now, if you were to place a bet, would you go over or under on 26 and a half touchdowns? I would go over. I will go over. So if he's playing enough games to get the 3,700 yards, I think the touchdowns would be would be over. I agree. Over under 3,700.5 passing yards. 
Can we get Fitz off of that record, man? Can, can we, yesterday. like, dude, That's can what we I said the yesterday? The yards and the can he throw 32 touchdowns, man? <laughs> and even the great Joe Namath, as I'm rocking my homage to Super Bowl shirt, Namath thrown for 4,007 yards in a 14 game season. As cool as that is, that he's the first to ever do it. Can we get a modern record? Can Rodgers throw for 4,100 yards this year? So, like, it's Aaron Rodgers, then Joe Namath. So it's like a modern record. Yeah. Like it's embarrassing that that's the record for the Jets that was set in a 14 game season. And I think he was the first quarterback in NFL history to do it. Ironically, Correct. Joe Namath. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> what are you? La- Don't laugh. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which we stand, one nation on the God and divisible with liberty and justice for all how That's did excellent. everybody like that in the chat did everybody like that the responses are just they're still coming in but the early results are promising <laughs> all right good oh happy july 4th bobby we're here yeah. i'm with someone very special carly no it's actually not carly it's a different woman who is it it's her twin carletta no, that's Carly. Hi, Carly. I knew you two were dating. I told you. Are we dating? We're not dating. You should have seen her devour this hot dog earlier. It was out of control. I did. I, I slurped it off. Uh, BJF is gone. He was on for the first hour. Now, Neil, the AI summary of the chat is right now. I want to read it to you for you to get you to comment. Viewers in the chat, you're getting just just so you know, you're getting destroyed in the chat right now. Oh my friend, yeah, because I got no shirt on. I'm back to back callers with no shirts on. That's yes. it. Yeah, rip me, bro. I don't give a shit. Um, I'm not. I'm just reading the comments. <laughs> no, it's fine. I don't. I don't give a shit. But <laughs> I can't see it, so I'll go back and look at it. <laughs> Picture your wives under me, bro. Anyway, <laughs> Steve F. Bro, your comments. I, I'm. <laughs> <laughs> I can't, man. I need, I need a twenty. I'm taking twenty. Let's <laughs> talk about buttered seven. sausage. Talk about buttered sausage. Where it comes from. What it does. Why is it doing what it's doing? Get it out of my face. What about <laughs> buttered. buttered buttered sausage? Only on this show, dude. Only on this show. It's not my jam. I don't buy jam. I buy honey, and I kiss it on the lips. Joe Douglas gonna get a lot of credit. And uh, yeah, I read Rick's comment. I'm already I support. In honor of Big oh, Fella. Come on. We are on a, we're live on Broadway right now. Shirtless, baby. Shout out to the chat. Nate, thank you very much. All right. The show is getting the show's getting weird. I don't know what is going on today. I was watching the show on delay and then I popped in and I'm, everyone's topless. From Leany and NC, Jake, I'm going braless. Does that count? For the first time ever, I have to play this for a female listener. Calm your freaky down. We not only need wins, we need wins. So it's a happy post game show for Boy Green. So we're going to get into all of it here. Again, my name is Paul Eston Jr., a.k.a. Boy Green. I'm the New York Jets digital reporter for Heavy.com. And I'm going to be honest. The only good thing that happened to me late tonight, early this morning, was making sweet, passionate love to my fiance, which I did after the uh, article was written and that kind of stuff. That's the only good thing that happened. Not great. Not Pound great. of the article, um, pounded of the fiance. Boom. And, Bobby, and did I- you make a baby last night? No, yeah, I'm so dry up as the Sierra Desert. I'm, that's never going to happen again. So, you asked the question. Again. I'm your freaky dad. Oh, he asked me that question. I don't freaky. All right, more of your calls right now. Mr. Fulton is on the line. Hello, Fulton. What are you guys thinking about Aaron Rodgers? Is he going to be playing for the Jets? Thank you for the call. Uh, Paul, your thoughts? You know, normally I get paid to talk for a lot of Jake as the, as radio host, you know, I'm, I'm I'm very, you know, it's very rare where I'm left speechless. Um, Hmm. Can you see? And the rock is regular. And the home of the radio. Yeah. When you hit those octaves, Bobby, wow. I felt some tingling yeah, well, in the that's testes. that's what Robert yeah. Merrill does. That's what gets me into it, Robert Merrill. Jake, did you ever think that you would have – I saw someone in the comments say, did you ever think you'd have a Giants fan that would pretty much 
take over your show as the star <laughs> of your platform when you started this years ago? No, I, I, I had no thoughts on any of this. Fresh off the birth of his 12th child. Hello, Johnny. Hi. Look at baby Addison. How are you and your wife holding up? She's doing good, man. Just say most of tests and everything. She's Aww. right there. Look how cute she is. K-E-T-S, Jets, Jets, Jets. Carly writes in, oh, yes, I'll be slurping the dogs. For only the second time in the history of the show, we simply play this. Not like good looking chicks in that thing. Wow. Bobby. Oh, yeah, baby. Things are about to get crazy here on the Cheek Hasman Show. Calm your freaky down. Sometimes we try. Or that freaky just take us over. Give him some of your loving voice. Oh, yeah, hide them kids. Again, this is your damn freaky girl. Too, too sexy. <laughs> you, gotta, you gotta chill, uh, man. What I meant to say is for only the second time in the history of the show, to a female four percenter, we had to play the calm you'll freaky down. Bobby, I want you to... Um... Patreon me your email account. You seem to like those girls with 5X spandex black. That oh, God. Is <laughs> oh, God. Keith, calm oh. your freaky down. Oh, my God. I didn't have that on my July 4th bingo card. Having to calm your freaky down drop, Keith. Jake, just letting you know, man, I've been in the closet with being a Robert Solid Truther, man. I just wanted to let you guys know that, you know, don't talk bad about my coach, man. If we go 0-17, understood. If we don't make the playoffs, understood. If we do some bad stuff, understood. Just know. That with the players that Jody gets us, he's developing them. He might not be the person that's yelling in people's faces, but let, just listen, man. He's a he's a man amongst men. He's a leader. Just watch him lead us, man. Just with the games that we saw last year, just tell you, man, with the, the Eagles game, let me tell you something, man. How he how he just rallied the troops with the 9-11 game, how he rallied the troops, man. He's not jumping up and down. He's not rah rah or whatever. He has some flaws. Don't get me wrong. We could debate the good, the bad, and all that kind of stuff. But at the end of the day, when we hired him, I don't know anybody that thought about somebody else as a head coach. I thought he was a good option. Had definitely had some hurdles, some learning curves to go through. But right now, man, let's judge him after the San Francisco game. Let's judge him after Tennessee. Let's enjoy this day. This is important, man. This is America. This is our Independence Day. Let's go. Look at that. Sausages, shrimps. We got some skirt steak. Got some hot dogs. Tremendous. Murph is up next. What's up, Daniel Murphy? What's going on, guys? Happy Independence Day. Look, who, who's got a better attire? I thought I looked good, despite what Carly in the comments wants to say. But <laughs> you, my God, look at this. Anything is possible. America. America. <laughs> You're an animal, Jake. Uh, Boomtown has a question. He would like to know if Garrett Wilson quits football to become a boxer. He moves to Texas. He marries South Ass's sister and says he's a Patriots fan. Will we be allowed to talk about any of those subjects? <laughs> no. Aaron Rodgers is going to be great because of his arm and his brain. That was not injured last year. Maybe he's not as mobile, but he was never going to be a guy that was using his legs to beat you anyway. Look at the Aaron Rodgers in Green Bay in 20 and 21 and count the rushing yards he had. That's not his game. So I, I have very little concerns, if any concerns, about this at all. But I always want to tell you guys that I so value you and the family that we have here going. It is incredible. The people who are on the shows, those regulars are a lot of fun. And it's just hysterical sometimes to, to watch your show. And then to be able to talk like real jet stuff, not these pretend uh, fake talking heads, as I call them, the empty heads. I'll be, how yeah. long are you going on for? You've already been. Well, how long do you want me to go on for? <laughs> <laughs> Will you stay on if that image stays on the whole night? I just got telling you what I'm going to do at 8 or 10 of 80. I'm going to head it over the Knicks. Oh, relax, buddy. I know, but he's <laughs> a, a, a troublemaker all night long. Now, Craig, before you go, I have a question for you. What mm -hmm. are your thoughts on the great Bobby Midnight seemingly having a big crush on your coworker, Sarah, who's become quite the asthmatiac? 
I mean, things are out of hand. That's pretty much all I can tell you. Um, and he's not the only one. I'm not naming <laughs> names, Mr. Bonesy, but she's keeping that show together and keeping it going. I'm pretty sure it's the reason for these eight-hour streams. I don't know. I might never see her again, but I'm happy for Bobby. He's got to 500 subs. I'm going to send him his first super chat when he's monetized. That's my plan. Yeah, we're losing him, guys. So... <laughs> Let me ask you this, though. This is why I think you need a nap. Yesterday, you confused Gary for his wife, and this happened. Oh, is that Wait. Gary's wife? Hi, Gary's wife. Oh, there she is. Good looking. You realize that was Gary, right? You called out uh, Gary. Good know. looking. Man. I, it was. No. <laughs> I must have been tired. You're all fucking idiots. I'm going to need you to stop hitting on Gary, Bobby. What? What's everybody doing? I'm going to bed. Have a good night. Hope you enjoyed those highlights from the Jake Hasman Show.